Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Always so glad that you're with me, and I think about the times when you're hearing this, even if it isn't while I'm actually recording it, I know that you're being blessed by the Lord as you study His Word. He promised He would bless those that stay in His Word and that you'd gain greater faith by doing so. We want to go to Him in prayer and ask Him to bless our time together as we grow in His Word. Let's do that now. Heavenly Father, it is true. Our faith grows by uh, learning your word, by hearing your word, by hearing and hearing and hearing your word. And as we day by day, time after time, hear what you have to say to us, Lord, we are so grateful that you have given us the word of God, the Bible, the scriptures, that you inspired these holy men like Paul to write these things so that we down through the ages could have your word to mankind. We bless you today. We ask you by your Holy Spirit to lead us into all the truth. And Lord, to be able to live according to that truth, we just need your Holy Spirit's power. So we ask for that as well. We bless you and we thank you for your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Tychicus, Beloved Brother and Faithful Minister. Is taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 21. Paul the Apostle shared with the Ephesian church members how he was an ambassador in bonds and desired for them to pray that he might speak boldly as he ought to speak. In chapter 6 and verse 21 of his letter, Paul told the Ephesians he was sending Tychicus, to whom he called a beloved brother and a faithful minister, where we read, but that you also may know my affairs and how I do. Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things. The verse begins, But that you may know my affairs and how I do, Tychicus. Paul began with the word but, which is a disassociation conjunction that means what's about to be written takes precedence over what was previously stated. Moreover, nevertheless, and nonetheless, that you also may know or that the Ephesians would perceive, notice, discern, and discover my affairs, which means Paul's manner and means, and how I do, or the way Paul exercised, practiced, was busy with, carried on, undertook, accomplished, and performed. Tychicus, whose name means faithful, and was an Asiatic Christian, friend and companion of the Apostle Paul. Paul was concerned for the Ephesian members to know how he was managing his life, and he sent Tychicus to share that message. The verse continues, A beloved brother and a faithful minister in the Lord shall make known to you all things. Paul added a beloved brother, which means a well-loved, esteemed, dear, favorite, and worthy of love fellow believer, united to another by the bond of affection, and faithful minister, or Trusty one who kept his plighted faith, worthy of trust and can be relied upon. He's one who executes the commands of another, especially of a master as an attendant. In the Lord, who is he to whom a person or thing belongs, about which he has power of deciding, master and the title given to God the Messiah, shall make known or gain knowledge and recognize to you, the, which refers to the Ephesian church members, all things which means each, every, the whole, and every one. Paul acknowledged that Tychicus was a man who was close to him, could be trusted and relied upon to reform, inform the Ephesians of his fate or his state. When we consider these words of Paul, we may have never heard of Tychicus before. This man whom Paul named as beloved and faithful could be trusted by Paul to reveal what was happening in his life. The Ephesian church members were concerned for Paul, and Tychicus was com commissioned to communicate to them about Paul and his ministry. Sometimes God will commission people to take on the task of simply revealing to others concerning ministries or about the lives of people. These are not insignificant tasks as they are in line with the commission of Jesus Christ for the spreading of his gospel. The Holy Spirit will lead us to the task we are authorized to complete. And with his aid, we shall inform others not only of important information, but also ways in which they can pray. 
Next time, Paul shares the reason that he sent Tychicus to the church in Ephesus. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you, and may he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.